All right, President Biden leads the most pro-abortion administration in our country's history. Now, I, I didn't think anybody could top Barack Obama, but I was wrong. The Biden administration has sought any and all avenues possible to advance its agenda promoting abortion on demand until birth at taxpayers' expense. They're even willing to violate federal law by using our VA hospitals to fund abortions at taxpayer expense. But as I've discussed on this program, Senator Tommy Tuberville continues to fight to protect unborn babies through his hold on all military general and flag officer nominations on the Senate floor. Now, it doesn't stop him completely, just makes him go through regular order and have to vote on each one of them. And he said he'll stand firm until the Biden administration's Department of Defense reverses this policy that it unilaterally put into place on abortion. Oh, joining me now to discuss this and more, Senator Tommy Tuberville of Alabama. He serves on four Senate committees, including the Senate Armed Services Committee and the Senate Committee on Veteran Affairs. Uh, Coach, welcome back to Washington Watch. Hey, Tony, how are you? I'm doing well. I watched you on the Senate floor uh, just a little bit ago as uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren uh, said, you're putting the nation's military at risk because you won't go along with the new policy that the Department of Defense has as it pertains to abortion. Well, Tony, as you well know, this White House, uh, they're dictating now from, from um, their purview. Uh, they're turning into Canada and a lot of the European countries, you know, one single leader. Uh, don't worry about going through Congress. Don't, don't worry about, uh, you know, going through proper order. Uh, they just push things on the American people. You can't force taxpayers to pay for abortion. That's a law. Been a long, law a long time now. Also, a policy in the military is, you know, they've had abortions for rape, incest, and, and health care of the mom, you know, for years and years, and they've had a couple dozen a year. It's worked pretty good. Nobody's complained about it because of the Dobbs situation. All this, we're going to do as much as we possibly can. So now they're allowing uh, uh, abortions at any time in the military for any reason. Uh, also, their dependents, uh, they'll fly them anywhere they want to go. They'll pay them for three weeks. And who's paying for it? The taxpayer is. Well, Hyde Amendment says that's against the law. But these people don't worry about the law. Uh, they, you know, they're dictating uh, from the White House, and and we're going to stop them. So I got a hold on their admirals and generals, and it is what it is. Uh, you know, they're all complaining, but, uh, you know, Wait, we're going to hold our ground. It, it could change overnight, Senator. All they have to do is go back to the previous policy and and say we're not going to force taxpayers to be in the abortion funding business and that's what you're asking for and and i got to tell you this our viewers and our listeners they support what you're doing we i think you saw these last week we delivered over 25,000 petitions supporting you for the stand that you're taking what is it with the military that they don't get it they're the ones that moved in this direction that is causing this reaction from pro-life members of the Senate? Well, it's not really about the military, guys, and it's not about the VA. It's about them controlling our country and doing what they want to do. And uh, the Supreme Court kicked them and said, hey, we're going we're gonna to throw the abortion uh, policy down to the states and let everybody vote on it, which way it should be. And so they got the federal government out of it. Well, they don't want the federal government to be out of it. So they're circumventing every rule they possibly can. Uh, they said, what, what can we do? How can we give more and more abortions? How can we make the taxpayers pay for it? Well, let's look at this. Let, the VA, we can do that. Although, you know, 30 years ago, the Democrats and Joe Biden passed a bill that the VA could not do abortions. And now the, uh, you know, the military, you know, they've got abortions. There's been no problem, you know, for those three exceptions. But now they want to just circumvent that and go around it. And right. They want to control everything that we're doing in this country. They have the power. Uh, but now I have the power. One senator has got the power to put a hold on anything. And they are panicking. They don't know what to do. Uh, but I can give them one thing to do. Go back to the old policy. Exactly and, right. And we'll do a lot of motions. It, yeah. it can be solved overnight. So just to put some numbers on this for the benefit of our viewers and listeners, the, the military, based upon the, the information that they provided, Roughly, and you made reference, about 20 abortions per year uh, have been performed historically in the nation's military. Under this policy, it's estimated that number will grow to over 4,000 
That's uh, over 200 times the number of abortions that would be performed under this policy. This isn't parody. This is expansion. And to the point that you are putting, uh, in fact, I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Chuck Schumer has said this is unprecedented, but this isn't the first time that there have been holds on military promotions. You're exactly right. And, you know, Tammy Duckworth, a senator from, I guess, Illinois, she uh, put a hold on a thousand nominees uh, just to try to get that, what was his name, Colonel Vinman, a, a promotion, you know, the, the, uh, uh, whatever you call him, the guy that spoke out against President Trump, and she held up all promotions. So, uh, listen, you know, they've called me every name in the book, and I told them, listen, I coached college football for 40 years. I've, I've already been called everything. That doesn't bother <laughs> me. I'm doing the work for the American people. Uh, the American people in the Constitution, uh, you know, backs the laws, says that uh, the Hyde Amendment says taxpayer money cannot be used for abortion. Done deal. Game, set, match. So, Senator, question for you. How can our folks be of help to you? Well, call your congressman, write a letter to your congressman, your senators, uh, whether it's a Republican or Democrat. Uh, you know, Mike Lee and I have been standing up, J.D. Vance. We need more and more people to, to step up, on, uh, especially on the Republican side. You know, if we're going to be pro-life, let's be pro-life. You know, you can't ride the fence. And, uh, you know, I came up here to represent the people of Alabama. Um, they believe in pro-life. So do I. And that's what we're going to stand up for. And so uh, this is all about getting reelected. I've been up here two years and that's all people try to do is get reelected. They like power. They like the prestige of all this. Hey, we're working for the people. We're not up right. here for us. And so, uh, yeah, do anything you can to your congressman, your senator, write him a letter, tell him support, you know, us trying to block this to make sure that they go back to the old policy. All right. Senator, always great to see you. Thanks so much for taking time to join us. And again, we thank you, uh, Coach, for your stand there on the, the Senate floor on behalf of the, not only the sanctity of human life, but also the Constitution and, uh, and how the system is supposed to work. All right, Tony. Thank you. God bless.